Hello everybody, today we are discussing about this breaking the power of household enemies. Household enemies are more dangerous because you are usually less cautious with them. You usually have no problem dealing with known enemies. But you lower your guards at home because you believe you are in the midst of people who love you and care for you. Household enemies range from a wicked husband or wife for a, or a greedy mother, mother-in-law or brother or sister. There are many. It takes someone close to lift you or join you. If the people at home don't sell you, those outside won't buy you. We shall look at the at this and know what we are going to do. We should look at the causes of household wickedness, the classes of household wickedness, and all this. In the book of Genesis chapter 37 verse 20 said, Come now, therefore, and let us slay him, and cast him into some pit, and we shall see some evil beast have devoured him, and we shall see what will become of his dreams. Joseph's brothers were jealous of him because of the vision of his future. They planned to kill him. But for the intervention of Simon, may God deliver you from people around you who are jealous of your progress or even your dreams. What about Leah and Rachel? Genesis 30 verse 1. And when Rachel saw that she bore Jacob no children, Rachel envied her sister. And she said to Jacob, Give me sons, or else I will die. And Jacob's anger was kindled against Rachel. And he said, I am in God's stead, who has withheld from you the fruit of the womb. Am I God, who said this is not yet time for you to have kids? So many things can happen on this. If you go on and go on, we see the one of Cain and Abel. We see the one of even wickedness in the home, in the in your own very eye, in your house. Killings everywhere. But as a child of the Most High, you must be careful and take care of your life and yourself. You must have to take care of yourself because household enemies are people that are close to you. They are of great help to you and they ensure you have absolute trust in them and never suspect them. They know your secrets when you were born, your strengths and weakness, and also have basic knowledge of your daily routines. They always wear masks whenever they want to attack you so that you can't detect them. Their purpose is to terminate lives. Secondly, they truncate people's destiny so that it cannot be fulfilled. Thirdly, they tend to make their victims useless. Have you ever wondered why somebody would be addicted to drug and alcohol? What will make a young boy or girl not to have the zeal to go to school, but who prefer to lazy around and expect money to fall on him? What do you think about that? When he gets to 40 or 50 years of age, he has nothing to hold on to, no handwork, no certificate, yet he wants a job that will pay him very big amount in thousands and millions. These powers can make somebody useless. Do you know that? So we should be careful. We should be prayerful on whom you tell your story. Some people cannot hold their mouth. They don't know when they have took it into the hands of their enemy. A child of God should be careful. Be careful what you do, what you're doing, whom you call your friends, because they are important, even in your family. Be careful. I pray that Almighty God will help you. In Jesus' name, amen.